All right, everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. My name is Bianca. So happy to be here with you guys. Um, yeah, we're going to get get some yoga going. But before we do that, um, just clear your space, any sounds that you need to mute, anything that you need to do here to get set up. And then with that, we're going to get started sitting down. So if you're not doing that yet, go ahead and sit down. If you want to cross your legs or you want to sit on your shins, whatever feels good. Good. All right, and then just relax the arms by the sides here. And you can start to close the eyes when you're ready. Take a deep breath in through the nose, just fill it up. Open mouth, exhale, let your breath go. Good, inhale in, breathe. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Keep doing this, so fill in with the breath, allow the rib cage to expand, the navel, the chest, the throat, the back body. Exhale fully through the mouth, just release, let it go. So whatever is going on around you, any movement, anything going on, just allow yourself to create this, this little sphere of calmness. Start to feel the shoulders relax even more. Maybe you can have the hands melt further into the ground or your legs. Right away, feel the heaviness of your seat, the tailbone, the sitting bones grounding deeper into the earth. And, and then close your eyes if you haven't already. And then start to think about all the tabs that you have open in your mind. So all these lingering thoughts, to-do lists, everything that is still in your conscious awareness. So, you know, your project you're working on, emails, anything like that. And then one by one, slowly start to it either minimize or close the tab, depending on what you need to do. So kind of working through that in your mind, starting to put down any just thoughts, putting them aside or closing them completely for now. As you do this, feel the relaxation continue to deepen. Notice your mind get even quieter. Preparing this space for your yoga practice where we'll continue to work body, mind, and soul into finding just such a calm, centered, powerful um, awareness that, that you have just all these tabs open. And then start to tune into the breath now, deepening, you could start to exhale out through the nose, breathing in, sitting up taller if you can, and then exhaling out through the nose. Create a constriction in the back of your throat, breathe in, use your core to pull that breath in. And then exhale through the nose, Still keeping the core engaged. You're looking good, everyone. Keep this up. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. In these next few breaths of stillness, you can set an intention for your practice, for your day what you'd like to feel in your body, how you'd like to show up. And then this next breath, keep the eyes closed, start to roll the neck, just here for a few moments, just start to find rotation there through the neck, keeping the shoulder blades relaxed. Go one way, go the other way. 
and keeping the eyes closed, just blocking off that visual stimuli, going internal. One more time each side here through the neck, noticing any tension in there. Good. And then from here, start to awaken the eyes, plant the hands and find your tabletop. But keep the breath going, keep the breath steady. See if you can still find that rhythm here as you find your cat and cows. Inhale through the, the gaze up, tailbone up. Exhale, crest the earth away for your cat. Keep going here. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the tail. Bend the elbows a little. Exhale, round and curl. Start to sit back into a child's pose, start to move forward into seal pose. And then here, just invite all your organic movements that you want to do. Awakening, stretching to the left side of your mat, left back, the right back side of your mat. Coming all the way down to the thighs, anything that feels good. So try to use this to really open the body. Really working through all that stuck energy. Sometimes if you don't have a chance to move or, or work out or do yoga or anything like that, like your body can just hold so much tension, so much, so much stuckness. Yeah, nice, Josh. Good. And then everyone, please sit back into a child's pose when you're ready. We'll have a few more moments to be able to move, but in your child's pose, let your hips sit down, but lift your elbows from the mat. So really try to only ground the hands here. Look forward. Don't ground the forehead. Stretch out through the underarms here. So your shins are making contact with the ground feet as well, but your forearms, your arms are lifted off while your hands press down. Send the gaze forward a bit, really stretching through the underarms, your upper back, your shoulders. And then from here, slither forward to your seal pose right away. Lower the chest. I mean, lower the thighs, lift the chest. Bend your knees. See if you can touch the toes up to the ceiling and the forehead up to the ceiling. So really finding this extension through the front line. Yes, good. Good, Leslie. Good, Caitlin. Sit back into your child's pose, but this time tuck your toes. Stretching the feet now. One more time, inhale, come forward, untuck the toes, lift the toes up to the sky, lower the, the thighs down, press into the hands, then start to look right and left if you can. Looking over the right shoulder, look over the left. Good. And then now coming onto our hands, tuck your toes, sit back into your lifted child's pose. Walk the hands closer to you, now your shins are off the earth, your toes are down, heels may be touched together. Come onto the fingertips if you can. Keep lifting the middle of your hand up to the sky while your fingertips press down. And then look right and left with your neck. Notice where you feel the stretch. Is it your inner thighs, your outer hips? Maybe it's the underarms here breathing deeply. When you come forward, that's a chaturanga. So come forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Very good. Once you're here, just start to pedal out the knees. Feel how the hamstrings are doing. The calves your wrists. Really good, keep moving here. Maybe move the hips right and left. Ground the finger pads, ground the knuckles, ground the heel of the hands. And then try your best to keep the arms really strong. They don't have to be straight, but they do have to be strong. Good, Avi. Yes, Melissa, keep lifting the hips up. Energize the kneecaps up as well, thighs. 
stretch the tailbone further back, and then hold some stillness in your downward facing dog. Try your best to pull up through the navel and then keep pressing the hands as if you were in a handstand, you're trying not to let the, the elbows bend now. Just a few more breaths here. If you can ground the heels, you can do so now. If not, keep lifting the, the heels up while, you're, while your chest goes to your thighs. All right, just one more breath here. Listen carefully, forward, exhale into chaturanga or plank, your choice. Hold, inhale up dog, breathe in, whether from plank or chaturanga, and then exhale downward facing dog. Good, nice work you guys. Come forward into your forward fold, walk the feet up. Bend your knees a lot here, let your chest hang heavy. Try to drop the head and lift the chin up towards the throat a little. Feel the stretch in the back of the neck here. And then let your entire body be so heavy onto the floor. Yeah, good, Caitlin. Start to sway side to side if you want. Maybe switch the elbow that's in front here. Very nice. Release the fingers to the ground, to turn the toes out, and then sit the hips into the heels, into a frog. Good, and then from here, straighten the legs, point the toes forward. This time, straighten the legs more if you can. Yes, good. Find the straightest legs here in the forward fold, and then sit back into your frog. Press the weight more into your heels, and then from here, straighten the legs little bit wider with the feet, little bit straighter if you can with the legs. We got last one here, sit back into frog. Take the arms up to the sky. And then and from here, try to lower the tailbone down as you lift the chest up. And then when you can, stand all the way up, point the toes forward, bring the hands together, and then exhale back bend. Inhale the arms up, exhale fold, grab your strap, and then inhale rise up with the strap in your hands, one, one each, and then exhale to your biggest back bend with the strap. Use the strap as leverage, pull the shoulders apart, keep the strap, inhale arms up, exhale fold down, straighten the legs. A few more like that, shorten the strap, you guys. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back bend. Almost like you have like a, those bars at the gym. You're pulling down onto the bar while you stretch the shoulders back. Yes, inhale up. Exhale down. Shorten a little bit more if you can. Closer, bring the hands closer together. Inhale up. Exhale to your back bend. Now it should feel really tight. Bend the elbows a lot, maybe they're at 90. And then turn the body to the right and turn the body to the left. Keep the back bend happening here. Grip the mat with your feet. And then inhale the arms up. Take a side bend to the right as you try to pull your right hand towards Yes, towards the side and then switch. Good. Keep your core strong here, obliques, everything. Nice, Sarah. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Shorten the strap even more about shoulder width. And then from here, circle up starting at the right, lift up. Find your, complete your back bend all the way back down towards the left side two more same side lift up to the right complete the back bend open 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 down to the left and last one inhale up to the right find your full back bend here just feeling the lumbar spine and then come down let's switch sides come up on the left 
try to find some really smooth, smooth movements here. So as much as you can, really ironing out, feeling any areas that can get stuck. Is it in the thoracic? Is it in the lumbar? In your neck, your cervical? Yeah. You got it, Melissa, a little bit lower. One more. Last one, end at the bottom, let go of your strap. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crow pose or plank pose, yogi's choice. Hold for 10 breaths. Crow or plank. Breathe. Hold steady. Crow or plank, you can lower the knees if you want. And then exhale, everyone to plank. Take a deep breath in, whether the knees or toes, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to your lifted child's pose. Sit down and back. Come on the fingertips this time. And then keep the right fingertips on the mat as you thread the needle left hand goes underneath to the right side on the fingertips still. Look to the right, like you're trying to see what's under your arm. And other side, left hand down, right hand threads the needle over to the left. Look for something underneath. Come forward, walk to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And to your downward facing dog, really good. Five breaths here. Two more breaths. All right, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Lift higher, shift. Yes, good, Josh. Inhale, right leg up. And then exhale, step all the way forward in between the hands. Ground your back heel here. Inhale up to warrior one. Widen the legs if you want. Start to find your own adjustments here. The ones you like to do or the ones you don't like to do, whatever feels good to do here. And then once you feel settled, just allow the mind to turn off and then really settle into the pose. Spread your right toes if you can. And then see if you can ground your entire right foot onto the floor, even the inside of your right foot. A little bit lower with the knee if you want. Good, take the hands behind you, inhale to a chest expansion, lift, strengthen the back leg. Exhale to a bound pyramid, straighten the right leg. Lift the hands to about hip height, maybe higher if you can maintain that balance. Perhaps your chest comes down to your thigh here, maybe not. You want the legs to be strong, feet are planting. Just one more breath in your bound pyramid, you got it, one more breath. And then exhale to your regular pyramid, let the hands come down. Pick up your right toes, point the right toes up to the sky as you deepen that hamstring stretch. So really work to shorten the right thigh now. Steady the breath. Try your best to point the right big toe and the right pinky toe up equally. Plant the right foot down, inhale, rise, warrior one. And then exhale, come forward, warrior three. Start to load up the right leg. And take your own variation here. You can kind of start to feel how, how balanced you feel today. Not every day feels the same. 
When you want, you can take the arms in front if you haven't yet. Good, stabilize the right hip, yes. Right knee, good, Leslie. Plant the left foot back, warrior one. Exhale, flow through your chaturanga, breath to movement. Exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. Exhale, down dog. Yes, you got it. You guys are breathing. I know I can't hear you, but I could tell you're breathing really well. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Shift forward, shoulders over wrists. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Touch. Good. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the foot forward here as lightly as you can. Right foot pulls in and down. Rise up, warrior one. Just let yourself feel here. You really want the shoulders in relation to the hips, our wrists in relation to the shoulders. Just find your length. Then find the point of relaxation with the shoulders while the triceps, biceps are working, forearms. Also start to find the nice distance between the feet, front and back and side to side. Don't be afraid to bend into it. Let your left glute work. But if you want to gaze up, you can. That'll intensify it a little bit more, but keep the ribs down. Good. From your pose, from where you want, interlace the hands behind you, other thumb on top. Inhale, chest expansion, still bend the left knee. And then exhale to your bound pyramid pose, adjust the back foot if you need, and then start to bow forward. You don't have to come all the way down. If you wish, you can. And then keep the legs strong again. Left thigh activating, hands pulling away from the sacrum. Yeah, you guys, triceps engaged making a little triangle with your arms behind you. Good. Use your core to stabilize. If you find yourself wobbling, widen the stance a little more. Just one more breath there. And then exhale to regular pyramid, hands down, but toes up, left toes only. Then inch the left heel further down into the mat as you pick up your left Kneecap up to the hip. Really stretching the belly of that hamstring. Feel the strength. So keep pointing the left toes up and up. Almost like you could float your entire left foot off the earth, but there's, it's st still staying down there. Yeah, it's just one more breath here. Exhale, left foot down, and then inhale, warrior one again. And take your time. Exhale, warrior three. Come forward. Find your stability. Good. See if you could press into the left big toe, the left ball mound of your foot, and then lift from the inseam of the right leg. And try not to let the ribs come down here. Neutralize the back, maybe arms come forward. This is when the breath starts to go away, so breathe. Solid, right foot down, inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, breath to movement, chaturanga. Complete that exhale down. Inhale up, dog. Exhale, down dog. Find your five breaths. Good. 
two more here. And then without moving your hands, see if you can just start to lower both of the forearms into your dolphin pose. Keep the hands there, just lower the forearms. Find your dolphin pose. It's up to you if you want to interlace the hands, but try to keep it apart for now. Resist gravity here. Keep pressing weight into the shoulders, pull, pull the hips back. Yes, you guys, pull the thighs up. Two more breaths. And then your release is puppy pose. Lower the knees, lift the arms off, walk them forward. Let your entire body open through the front line. Maybe your chin, your forehead, your nose is on the mat. Then from here, thread the needle. So take the right hand through across to the left, but you're on your knees this time. You can find a balance if you want, a bind, yeah, good. Good, plant the hand, switching sides, thread the needle left hand to the right. Rest your cheek and your temple down. Take any variation that you want here. Good, and then plant the hands, plant the forearms, and then forearm plank. Pick up your knees and just start to balance here. Tame the glutes down, lift your, your quads, your thighs off the mat. Imagine your body as one straight plank here. Stay strong. One at a time, plant the hands to plank. And then send it back down dog or chaturanga if you want to add that extra strength. We'll all meet in down dog there. Good, you guys. Nice, Melissa. Nice, Avi. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step all the way forward. And then crescent lunge is the inhale. The exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, and twist. Stay standing, stay upright. Really stretch front and back arm here. Try not to let the hips turn to the right, but strengthen the left leg. You can stay in the open twist or take a deeper left elbow to right thigh, hands together. It's keep turning the sternum while your hips stay neutral. That'll, that'll do the twist. Very good. If you want to take the, the partial bind here, left hand to right back pocket, right hand to left pocket, or eventually if, if the fingers can reach, but don't worry about it if not. Inhale back to your twist, inhale, rise up. Right hand to your back, left arm up. Exalt the crescent lunge. Maybe your shoulders can line up or maybe you're turned more to the right, which is fine. Whatever feels better for you. Get ready here, breathe in. Exhale to your revolved triangle pose. Left hand comes to the right foot. Left heel comes down there, reach the right arm up. Same thing as pyramid, really stretch the legs, stretch the hips, turn the body. Yeah, you got it. Nice, Caitlin, look up if you can. Really good, you guys. See if you can really have the fingertips to the right pinky toe, maybe eventually the hand can come down there, the entire palm or a block. Place your right hand to your waist, your hips, inhale, rise up, warrior one. 
Good. This time interlace the hands, make a steeple grip, pointer finger point up, and then exhale to your warrior three. Take it up. Arms forward, hands interlaced. Now you can try to find your little T-shape with your body or a little bit of a diagonal. Find what works. Yes, yes, Avi, keep it up. Oh, if you fall out like me, that's all right. <laughs> and then back foot down, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands through your chaturanga. Take that exhale all the way down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Into our left side, send the left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Good, and then open twist, left hand back, right hand forward. And it'll be a challenge to equalize the height of the hands, but that's where the really juiciness of this twist comes. Imagine that you're hugging a wall with your hand while you're trying to track the knee forward. Your right thigh has to be really pulled back and strong. A little deeper in that front knee if you want. And then from here into your twist or stay upright. But hopefully you didn't lose any length by going deeper. When you feel stable, you can go for whatever bind that works, whether that's holding onto the pockets or trying to reach for your fingers. But if you wanna reach for the fingers, usually your, your right elbow has to go to the left shin area. Just depends on the proportions, don't sweat it. And then come up onto the twist. Left arm back, right arm forward. That left leg is really, really working. Left hand to the sacrum, right hand up. Up to you if you want to level the shoulders and make it into a back bend or you want to twist a little bit. Either way, try to feel the stretch here through the right hip flexor. You want to squeeze that right glute a lot. Last breath. And then you're gonna to start to ground the right heel and come forward into your revolved triangle, right hand to the left foot, left arm up or stay at the hip. Either way, your right kneecap, right toes will point forward a lot. No pain in the knees, no pain in the joints, just everything working together from the inside out, your musculature, your muscles, and then the breath your skeletal structure, I mean. Yeah, you're good, Leslie. <laughs> and then maybe look up if you have more space. Press to the outside left foot. If you do that, counter, yeah, counterbalance. You might need to widen the stance if you can't keep that balance. Very good, hands down, inhale, warrior one. Connect the hands, exhale, warrior three with your steeple grip, a little harder this time because the hands are bound. Focus on your left foot here. Look at where your left knee is going. And then strengthen the arms, breathe. Yes. You can do it. Good. Inhale, rise up, release. Warrior one, exhale, chaturanga. That same exhale takes you down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And then from here, from your down dog, sit the hips back into your floating chair, I mean, floating child's pose. You have a few options here. 
from your floating child's pose, you can take it to a chaturanga and then go back. So I'll show you here. Come forward, chaturanga, floating child's pose, take it back. So that's very strength building in the arms. You can go into crow jump backs, crow jump backs, or any inversion of your choice. Maybe your frog handstand hops here. Whatever you wanna do here for the next few breaths. All right, so if you wanna see that child's pose to chaturanga again, that's that. If you need a little bit more rest, child's pose. But test your strength here. That's, that's what I'd like to see, if possible, is just really getting your body connected with the mind. <laughs> nice, Caitlin. Nice left, nice left way. Yeah, don't, yeah, keep it up, hips up. Good, Avi, really nice. Nice, Sarah. And keep it up, Kendra and Kyoko. We'll, we'll all meet in a child's pose after one more try of whatever you're doing. Yeah, nice, Melissa. Good. Everyone to a child's pose. Rest the arms, rest the forehead. Try to slow down the breath, slow down the heart rate. Good, plant the hands and then everyone into your dolphin now. Since earlier we came at this from our down dog, see if you can still walk the feet up. All right, and then all together, as long as you don't have any neck or shoulder injuries, we'll come up onto the tippy toes in our dolphin and then sit the hips back. Inhale, tippy toes in dolphin. If you need to look, look. And then exhale, back down. If you can, you can come onto the, the top part of the big toe so you're barely on the ground. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, pull up. Either you're on the tippy toes or on your, on your actual big toe. Two more. Very good. Last one. If this is hard, that's all good. This is very strength building. And then lower down, child's pose, embryo pose, take the arms back and have a rest. In your embryo pose, arms back and look to the left so that your right side of your face is on the mat. And then when you're in that shape, take your left hand to your right front pocket. Find your bind. Good. Maybe if it feels good, you can start to lift the left shoulder. But just be careful with your neck there. Other side. Back to embryo, look to the right. Your gaze is to the right and then start to take the right hand to the left front pocket, your bind. If you have a little more, you can lift the shoulder up. Roll a little bit towards the back of the head, but just make sure you feel safe. So good, you guys come back down, hands to the mat and inhale for your cow pose. Exhale round for your cat. So just go cat and cow here for a few more breaths. When you feel good, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step forward and then rise up to your crescent lunge. Take the hands to your heart. Dip your left knee a little bit down 
and then pick it up, left knee up, take that big step. Exhale, figure four. Up to you where you want your hands, heart down on the floor, arm balance in the bind behind you, up to the sky, lots of options. Either way, getting into the outer hip here. Whichever variation you took, take your hands to your knee or your left foot and then start to straighten out left leg forward into your extended big toe pose. Try to point your belly button forward. <laughs> yeah. And press, press your foot into your hand or your knee into your hand. Right glute really strong, you got it. Your release is a very, very light warrior two. So let go of the foot, lightly step back. Nice, Sarah. Yeah, and then start to bend into the right knee here. Get low if you want. You can do some movement here if you want, or you can just hold, just hold your warrior two, whatever feels good. You got it, Melissa. Arms straight, everyone. Breath deep. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm up, up and back. And then exhale, triangle. Right leg straight. If you can, right hand to the outside of the right foot or the inside but if you can, right side. Try not to hyperextend the right knee. Good. On the inhale, extended side angle. Pick up the chest. You guys, really good, so beautiful. And then you can take a bind, bound triangle, bound anything, or just hang and breathe. Ooh, nice, Melissa. About four more breaths, take your time, whatever you're doing. If you can, release this triangle again. And then everyone walk to the center as you point your right toes to be parallel to the left, your prasarita. You got lots of options here. Tripod to stay, inner thigh stretches, skandasana, a twist, whatever feels good. Maybe forehead to your shin. Inhale, half lift. Walk to the front, right foot, and then standing splits, left leg up. Should be pretty warmed up at this point. You can remain in your standing splits if you want to practice a few handstands. If you just want to lower the foot and go into pyramid, that's also there. Yeah. You guys are amazing. All right, maybe lift the leg a little higher or bend the right knee a little more, depending. Oh, that actually, bending the knee brought my left foot all the way down. You got it, one more breath. And exhale, left foot down, tuck the toes, right leg high, three-legged dog. Flip your dog here or just take circles with your knee. Exhale, down dog or chaturanga, your choice. Whatever you pick, just make sure you're, you do the breath. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, the crescent. And then stabilize here. 
I'm gonna turn around so I can see you guys. Crescent lunge. Bend your right knee, hands to heart. And then big step up, right knee up. Exhale to your figure four. You can feel the right hip. Feel the ribs coming off the thighs. Any variations here? It's so good. Very good. And then whether that's knee or foot, right hand to the knee or foot, and then start to straighten the leg. Left hand on the hip for support. Adjust. You might want to lower the right hip. You want to lift, lift the left hip. Maybe arm comes up. Maybe you bend the knee, whatever works. And left glute so strong. Yes, you got it. Lightly, very lightly, warrior two. So quiet. You don't have music on, you can almost hear just the breath, the body expanding. Take your movements in warrior two, or you can just sit low in your left knee. Yes. Spread your left toes here, spread the right toes. Feel the groundedness of your feet. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. I like that, Sarah. Lift up. Exhale, extended side angle, I mean, rather triangle pose. Come forward. Maintain the length in the spine and then maintain the length in the side body, both sides. Eventually, if you want, the hand can come down to the floor, but no worries there. Yeah, sometimes you can even bring the top hand overhead if you want. And then inhale, extended side angle. Exhale into any variation that you want, your binds. You may maintain this nice rhythmic breath here. Keep the, the body flowing, the mind quiet. Straighten and strengthen the right leg a little more if you can. Good. And then exhale, hands down, prasarita, take it down to the center. You have, you can do the same thing or you can interlace the hands behind your head. If you want, a little bit prepped into any pike variations or straddle pike variations. Or simply just move around with the neck, look right, look left. And honestly, just do what feels good. Sometimes it's so nice to be upside down, just shifting the perspective. Again, if any of those tabs are still open, I don't think, hopefully not. <laughs> And then take the hands to your hips. Rise up halfway. Exhale, walk to the front here. Left toes forward. Inhale, right leg up into your standing split. You can also go into pyramid if you prefer or into your handstand. Shoulders over wrists, take your time. And maybe bottom knee into chest there if you can. Bend the left knee a little. And then right toes down, three-legged dog, lift the left leg up. 
Exhale, flip your dog or circle the left knee. Or both. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths in. And we'll now start, start here to stretch the hips, lift the right leg up. Exhale to your pigeon pose. So good, you guys, that was so smooth today. You have your strap there if you want to wrap the strap around your back foot. Yep, Caitlin, already on it. Wrap the strap around your back foot and then turn the forearms up to the sky. You start to reach for the back foot, look up. If you would rather be more grounded, you can rest your forehead down and thread the needle like we did earlier. So left hand comes to the right side. So whether, nice Avi, whether it's staying up or down or thread the needle, it's gonna be your left arm that goes to the right. Yeah, good. Unwind yourself, inhale, and then exhale. Lean the weight into your left leg as you stretch the right leg to the right side of the mat. So getting into the inner thigh now. If you wanna practice your splits, this is a great time to do it. Or if you wanna sit down onto the left heel, just be careful with your knees. Or if you wanna stretch the inner thigh, you can go into lizard. Just, you know, whatever will round this out for you, make this your own, whatever will make this complete. And then wherever you are, downward facing dog, however you wanna get there. Into your left side pigeon. Strap or no strap. You wish to be down and can thread the needle, right hand comes to the left. Either way, you want the breath to be really slow now. Just really starting to cool down your body. And then softly bring the hands to the earth. Inhale, lift the chest. On the exhale, let the left foot extend to the left side. And go into your half splits, full splits, lizard, lizard pose, whatever you want. Guys, really good, very nice variations. Loving all the different shapes here. And then slowly just take the leg back, whether that's down dog or your knees. And then you'll end with your knees on the mat. Take the legs in front of you. And just one boat pose to end here. Make it a good one in your boat. Separate the feet hips width. Yeah. Plant the feet down hips width. And then lower slowly onto your mat. Inhale up to your bridge. When you're ready, up to wheel. 
Take your hands next to your ears. Slow it down. Point the toes forward, knees forward, come up onto the crown of the head. Move your hair <laughs> and then lift up. Five breaths. Slowly chin in, all the way down and come down. Just roll the wrists if you need and then windshield wiper your knees side to side. Hug your knees into your chest, happy baby. Straddle stretch if you want. And then from here, bring the legs together up to the sky. Lower the left leg and find your supine twist here, right leg straight and across the body towards the left side. Look to the right. Right arm out to a T. You can support your, your right calf with your left hand. Inhale up, legs up to the sky, use your core. And then switch, right foot down, left leg across the body to the right side with the leg straight. Look to the left, anchor your shoulders. If your leg is lifted, use your elbow against the floor to give your, your calf a foot stand or leg stand, or if it's on the floor, then support it with your hand on the top of your left calf shin area. Whatever feels good. Inhale up, lift the legs, use your core. Arms to a T here, and then lower the legs to 45. We're gonna end in just a little. Sacrum down, hands down on the floor. Press, strengthen, shake, and then Shavasana. Let it go. Relax the shoulders, relax the hands. Let everything melt. Shrug the shoulders down, move the hips side to side here. Let's take a deep breath in. And the cleansing breath out. Starting off just like the beginning, any tabs that you have open, Keep them minimized for now or closed. There's one more breath here. Then start to awaken, take a deeper breath. Cleansing exhale out the mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. And just find some movement, fingertips, toes. Big stretch, arms up overhead, wrists, ankles. Draw the knees into your chest. And then slowly roll off to your one side. We'll meet in a seat. Once you're up, sit tall, roll the shoulders back a few times. And then inhale up, look up, arms up. We bow forward, feeling in their practice from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you guys. That was so, so great to be with you all lunchtime. Thank Thanks you, Ivanka. 
You're welcome. I hope you feel You're good, welcome. relaxed, strong, ready for the rest of your day and your week. So, thank you, Bianca. Thank you again, you guys. So grateful. <laughs>